Stories help us reach across boundaries and understand people in different walks of life, different lands, different cultures, different worlds, different universes even. All people have to somehow come together if we're going to save this beautiful, marvelous, mysterious, glowing planet of ours called Earth. Every story is a journey that takes us somewhere. Even if it's an imaginary realm, we have to feel it's true. I hope that more than anything else, my stories give young people a sense of their own power. The best kind of book to me is a book that has an individual against the odds um, trying to do something that has major consequences. Whatever book you see that I write, whether it's a short form children's picture book or a big fat novel that has 2,000 pages between three books, you'll always find a big moral question under it. Both because I need that in order to keep going. That's one of the reasons I love writing. It's a way for me to ask some of those big questions about life and give myself a sense of what the answers might be. But it's also important for you, the reader. Every story is a journey that takes us somewhere. Even if it's an imaginary realm, we have to feel it's true. I always start out by dreaming. I always start out by just kind of letting my mind flow and getting a, a, a sense of what is elemental about this place, what is really special, what is really magical about this story, this character, what, what catches me about that character's deepest secrets, what, what pulls me into that place, what are the big issues. I just dream a bit and then I switch to the left side of my brain, the right hand, and I write an outline. A really specific outline of the whole journey. The reason creativity is important is the only way we can make a better world out there is if we can somehow imagine a better world. And to imagine a better world we have to exercise the faculty of getting out of the life, the circumstance, the place, the time that we are in now. The world is full of opposites and complexities. It's only we humans who, who divide things into absolute right or wrong or absolute black and white. But we lose some truth in doing that and some very important ideas. I think the greatest wisdom comes from people who understand that they have both light and dark. They have the potential to do great, wonderful, courageous, compassionate, loving things. They also have the capacity to fall into, into arrogance or greed or other kinds of evil that we, we all have the potential for. I think the most important emotion we can feel is gratitude. You appreciate the, the gift across time that, that someone gave us. Maybe an ancient Aztec found that seed that you now put into your bread, that you now put into your mouth. You, you appreciate also how people from many different worlds and many different places really are all grateful for the same things. That's why I put gratitude into my stories. When Tamwin, a wandering wilderness guide, is hungry and he sees a rabbit he could have for dinner, before he shoots his arrow, he thanks the rabbit for the gift of that food, just as a Native American would do just as many peoples would do who find their food from the land and remember where it came from. Human beings have one thing that no other creature has, we have free will. We have the chance to make decisions, to make choices that could allow us to live sustainably and peacefully and harmoniously on this miraculous planet. I think it's all about staying in touch with what you love. What do you love? What do you feel strongly about? What do you care about? I hope that more than anything else, my stories give young people a sense of their own power. That they, just like Merlin or Anna or Kate or Tamwin or Ellie or any of these fictional characters, they have 
deep power, power in the choices that they make, power in the words that they speak, power in the ideas that they believe, power in the dreams that they seek to help make their world something different.